Hello, friends. Welcome to Bern City, Switzerland, the city where its medieval charm meets modern. In this video, I will show you the incredible atmosphere of the city. We will walk along the medieval streets. We will look at the old town, the Rosengarten, the botanical garden, the clock tower, and the Heide church in the city. We will get acquainted with the culture of the citizens and the transport system. I'll also tell you a little about the climate of the city and acting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more travels in Switzerland and more countries and cities. So, let's dive into the heart of Bern. The capital of Switzerland is built on a sandstone ridge, surrounded on three sides by the Ara river, which flows through the valley. High bridges connect on the right bank of the river and with new urban areas. Bern is founded in 1191, population 134,000 people. Interestingly, the symbol of Bern is the bear, which is depicted of the city's coat of arms. As you see, Bern in Switzerland is given romance by fountains, luxury by palaces, grandeur by temples, harmony by gardens and parks. Transport system Bergen boasts an efficient public transportation system, including trams, buses and funicular railway. There are approximately 13 bus lines in Bern. Moreover, each bus and trams, regardless of the type of route, always runs with amazing accuracy in accordance with its schedule, which you can find at each stop. The city transport schedule is also posted there, which, similar to the schedule, is also strictly observed. Buses start operating at 5 am and at around midnight. The cost depends on the length of the trip. In Switzerland, the liberal tariff system operates. The Bern agglomeration is divided into zones. The city itself is in zone 100. Its suburbs are in zone 101 and more distant suburbs are in zone 130. In order to pay for travel, a ticket must be purchased from wedding machines and bus stops or at sales offices. A single ticket in the 100 zone for a short distance costs 3 francs and the travel time is limited to 30 minutes. When traveling a long distance to zone 101, the time is limited to 16 minutes and is given the possibility of one transfer. On single tickets, the expiration time on the ticket is indicated. In addition to single tickets, you can purchase day tickets, which allow unlimited travel for 24 hours in zones 100 and 101. But a reusable ticket must be punched in a composter, otherwise you will be considered a free rider. It's important that children under 6 years old travel for free. Children from 6 to 16 years old are held price. The Old Town
the external decor of the houses and shops has retained the splendor of Bern in the 17th and 18th centuries. There are arcades and protruding roots all around, which also applies to the science of Bern. It is the way the city combines the delight of the past and the innovation of the present that allowed UNESCO to include in the list of World Heritage Sites, which means you are in for a treat of historic charm and breathtaking beauty. The cobbled streets and sandstone arcades building haven't changed much in 500 years, so you'll be able to see many of Bern's landmarks in their original form. The medieval district of Alstan Post, 16th century fountains and 15th century arcades. Of course, you can catch a glimpse of the beauty of the old city while passing through the inner charm, but it's best to take time for a walk and absorb as many views of this place as possible. Bear Pit Park According to local legend, the city's name comes from the word for bear. While the animal itself has long played an important role in the history of Bern and its cult, the bear pit or Bern Graben is far from just a pit where you can stare at club-footed animals. This is a real nature reserve where you can observe the full life of bears, watch them swim and color in the river. The original bear pit was installed here in the 16th century, and every prominent person who visited Bern came here to admire the bears in their natural habitat. The bear pit has always been an important part of the city's heritage. The animals living there are now treated much better than in past centuries. Bern Cathedral The construction of the cathedral was completed in the 15th century. The reformation of the Swiss church took place only in 1893. He is the tallest cathedral in Bern and perhaps in all of Switzerland. The Gothic style of the building is embraced by the incredible spire towers over the city. And the most beautiful thing in the cathedral is, of course, the portal with a detailed image of the Last Judgment.
Zyglo Clock Tower, one of the most recognizable landmarks in Switzerland, is the Zyglo Clock Tower. An outside in 13th century structure rising in the heart of old bear. This clock tower has a greatest and more beautiful purpose than just telling you the time. A few minutes before the minute hand makes few revolution, the gesture on the clock begins to jump and music begins to sound. When the minute hand completes its circle, the main characters of the show, the king and his bears, appear and captivate the audience. Rosen Garden. If you are planning a hike in Bern's old district, you'll definitely want to visit the Rosen Garden Park. It is small and located on top of a hill which provided a special view of the city. In this garden you will find more than 200 varieties of roses. There is the children's playgrounds and a cozy restaurant where you can drink a cup of coffee, have a light snack and look at the bustle of the city from the Cyclot Hill. The Bundeshaus. The Bundeshaus or Swiss Federal Palace is where both the Swiss Federal Assembly and the Federal Council meet. Two different branches of government sit in the different wings of the palace, making the building one of the most important in the entire country. Built in the 19th century, the Bundeshaus is not only a beautiful and remarkable building, but also the birthplace of one of the first modern democracies. If there are no meeting taking place at the Federal Palace, you can walk around it with a gate. Right in the front of the Bundeshaus, on the Bundesplatz Square, there is a chick fountain beloved by tourists. Mm -hmm. 
local residents are known for their love for sports and healthy lifestyle. In summer, there are free swimming pools in the city, which make it possible to cool off on a hot day or practice swimming, for example. This is confirmed by the fact that there is more than one sport complex in the city. The pools have crystal clear water and often next to them there are parks areas for adults and children. In summer, the Iron River offers excellent swimming. Good swimmers can swim in the clear water of the Iron and enjoy the view of Parliament at the same time. You will always meet cyclists, trainers, and other athletes on the streets. Botanical garden. Don't even think forgetting about the inimitable Bern Botanical Garden. It will impress even those who are assured that they are absolutely not interested in flowers and plants. The garden consists of several sections. The alpine section includes mountains ecosystems with specimens from Europe, Asia and North America, but with a special emphasis on representative of the Swiss flora. There is also an interesting exhibition on extinct species. The other three sections cover desert tropical and subtropical vegetation. The good then. Locals know that Mount Gurten is one of the most relaxing and picturesque places in the entire city, but for some reason many tourists ignore it. Gurten is located near the city, thanks to which it offers a truly stunning view.
on the one hand the wonderful city of Bernd's trenches out in front of you, on the other the magnificent Bernd's Alps rise. Many hacking trains winding around the mountain. A great way to work up an appetite before a pregnant sweet dinner. If you don't want to walk, the curtain bun will help you. A special charm in which you can enjoy a panoramic view of the mountain and the city for a whole five minutes. Human and Nature The Swiss treat their natural wealth very casually, trying to live in harmony with it. Parks are corners of untouched nature that are perfect for rest and relaxation. You can also walk along the river surrounded by natural beauty or even in the forest without leaving the city. Weather and climate. When is the best time to go? Bern is a city where it is pleasant to relax at any time of the year. The maximum influx of tourists in the capital occurs in the summer on the Christmas Eve and New Year holidays. At this time, prices for accommodation and food increased by 10-15%. The climate in Bern is quite pleasant. Summers are cool and winters are dry and mild. Bayern's central location make it a great base to stay and explore Switzerland. To sum it up, I can say that the medieval spirit of the city with fountains, sandstone, facades, narrow streets and historical towers is truly unique. The city authorities managed to preserve the flower of the 50th 60th century and harmoniously combine it with modern architecture and the fast pace of life.
Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I hope you found it interesting and found something useful for you. See you in the next video. All the best.